To be or not to be? This is the question. In this video, we will be talking about the interesting and very confusing to be verb. I'm Kat Sieverson, the inventor of the Sieverson Method, a scientifically proven way to learn anything fast, including to be verbs in the English language. I agree with you guys, to be verb is very confusing. Especially as a non-native English speaker, I had to like wrap my brain around this to be verb. And the, one of the reasons is because this verb has pretty difficult conjugation. If you don't know what conjugation means, that means that the process of the verb changing its form depending on the subject. If you haven't watched the subject video yet, then you may not know that pronouns could be divided into first person, second person, third person, singular, and plural. If you watched that video, good. If you didn't, I'm just going to redraw the grid. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger this time. It's going to be first person, second person, third person, singular, and plural. Think about it. Who is my first person? I. I am my very first person. So I. Who's my second person? You guys are my second person. And then my third person would be he, she, or it. Now, what is my first person plural? I, we, you, you all. And then he, she, it be they. So far so good, right? Now, what does it have to do with this to be verb? Well, the to be verb changes its form drastically depending on the subject. I am, we are, you are, y'all are, he, she, it is, they are. This may not be a huge revelation to you, but all of these am, are, are, is, this is a to be verb. So whenever you hear your teacher or maybe I'm talking about a to be verb, make sure you understand that that's just a to be verb. Now, what would to be verb sound like in the past? I was, we were, you were, y'all were, he, she, it was, they were. Now, this to be verb is different from to do or did, because that would be a to do verb. I do, we do, you do, y'all do, he, she, it does, they do. Now, the same thing in the past tense would be I did, we did, you did, he, uh, y'all did, he, she, it did, they did. You can notice that the verb to do doesn't change as much as the verb to be. There is only one variation, do and does. And in the past tense, it's always the same. Did, 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 did. Pay attention to what happens to the to be verb. I am, you are, he, she, it is. And in the past tense, it's either was or were. So whenever you see a sentence, for example, um, we are invited, and it's clear from the context that it should be in the past tense, make sure that in the answer choices, you don't choose is, did, that in the answer choices, you don't choose was, did, or is. Because did is a completely different verb. That's a verb to do. It's not a verb to be. We are invited. The initial verb is to be invited. And then we were would be the proper form. Because we is right here, uh, plural, past tense. I know this is so elementary for so many of you guys, but I'd really like to clear this up with a to be verb so that you can move forward. I wish you all the best on your SAT and the ACT grammar. And don't forget, every month you can enter into the um, 
into the lottery, I would say, uh, to get on a free uh, tutoring session with me. We'll be talking SAT, um, we can be doing uh, grammar, reading, math, you name it. It'll be a full free hour. If you enter your name, you get into the lottery. And we choose one lucky winner. We post this information on Instagram. So make sure you subscribe to my and um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.